everybody, welcome to what is going to be a very thematically weird episode of The Binding of Isaac. I say weird, because this challenge run, suggested by YouTube user Carrion Spirit, uh, is called, there's a number of names, he called it We Are Prostitutes. I kind of just like the name Prostitute, even though it sounds a little offensive. It also sounds like it could be like an art house indie film or something, I don't know, starring Maggie Gyllenhaal, who knows. Uh, we're playing as Eve here. And we are supposed to be role-playing the role of a Lady of the Night. You know, it's the world's oldest profession. We have Mom's underwear, Mom's lipstick, Mom's heels, and Mom's purse, which gives us, like, incredible range, but also uh, the ability to take two trinkets. We also have Bum Friend and Quarter, and the way this is gonna work, basically, Satan is our pimp, and we don't want to be prostitutes anymore, or a prostitute anymore, so we have to kill Satan. Uh, we can't pick up any money, all of our money goes to Bum Friend, I guess he's gonna be the collector for our pimp. Uh, but we get paid a salary of one quarter every two floors. All items are okay, uh, but those are the general conditions of the runs. So let's see what this pill does. Health up, I'm fine with that because we absolutely need that as Eve. So, like, on the outside it doesn't really seem like that different to a regular Eve run, but there are going to be some certain things that we'll be looking out for. We are going to be getting enough money to absolutely make good use of shops, assuming- No, no, Troll Bomb, come this way! Oh, I could have made that actually open up that chest. Um, assuming I can get some keys, we've seen so many tinted rocks too that I really want to make good use of those, but um... If I pick up money, I have to hurt myself by the way, so... I mean, I'm gonna try to remember to do that. We'll see what happens though, we got a bomb. I think we should use the bomb for the tinted rock, just in case the tinted rock contains keys. Oh my god, it contains literally the exact opposite of keys! But I still think that was, mathematically, that was the best option. But uh, yes, yeah, so if I... What are my, my uh, extra strategies for this run as Eve? Well, as usual, getting extra HP and getting extra damage is going to be a, a high priority, as it always is with the Eve. However, in addition to this, I also want to make sure uh, that I'm going to as many shops as possible. I wonder what this is. Luck down. Doesn't really matter all that much. We've seen so many tinted rocks. Just give me some bombs. These guys might actually explode in bombs. If I just kind of hassle them a little bit. You just get in there. You stay there. And you die. That's what you do. Well, don't these guys ever explode into bombs? Maybe on the first floor they don't. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of done with this. Maybe we'll just get lucky and they will uh, drop a bomb on this room. With zero bombs and zero keys, that's going to be a concern for us as well. I would really love to get some uh, skeleton key or pyro from an item room or secret room. However, you know, we can't really get to that in the first place considering we're starting on an XL floor. Uh, so things are not going well so far. I'm going to give some of my money to charity. Maybe we'll end up picking up something good as a result of this. I really don't have any other recourse. There we go, two bombs. That's going to be extremely beneficial. Maybe we can start uh, our new life with a little bit of a stake there. Uh, extra half red heart is actually valuable. I thought it wasn't, but it, in, it indeed is. Uh, and by every two floors, I'm assuming. Wow, that is incredibly lucky. We got the candle from uh, Judgment there. We should blow up some of these, which maybe will give us a key. Yeah, there's one key. We traded a bomb for a key there. That's okay. Uh, then I think we make our way back. Oh, don't open that by accident. We make our way back into this room. We blow up this tinted rock. If I could blow up the tinted rock and get to this chest at the same time, that would be amazing. Oh, we got so close! Oh, we actually made it work. Okay, so we traded a bomb for a bomb. Uh, oh, I picked up some money. I have to hurt myself. Uh, wait until I get some fire, because I don't want to use my last remaining bomb to hurt myself. Uh, we got blood rights in here, which is garbage. There's some fire, so I'll walk into that, because I'm a big dummy. Alright, don't pick up any more money. That's something that's going to be hard to get used to. Uh, but again, it should all go to bum friend. That's the whole reason we have him. Again, my mistake. And my apologies. But if we want to use Bum Friend in the first place, we're already getting enough money uh, where we should actually probably just be giving our money to Bum Friend anyway. So I think this is an okay decision on our part. We're looking for a second item room, but also uh, the boss room. And in addition to that, it would be awesome to get some keys as well. But it might be a little unlikely. Candle is absolutely a nice upgrade. Come on, Bum Friend, just give me some keys. I mean, our key situation ostensibly should be okay, because we're going to have this dude giving us keys constantly. Hopefully. Uh, there's our boss room. We haven't encountered our item room yet. Bum friend, this is your chance to shine. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to fight. We are going to backtrack as much as possible. We're going to fight our bosses first, though. Uh, which should make chances of us getting a key. You know, somewhat likely. There actually is a tinted rock up here. I should blow that up. Maybe we'll get lucky. We did not. Well, we sort of did. Two tinted rocks is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, Candle did some good work there. We'll take a tears upgrade, which is A-OK. -okay. And we'll go on to fight our second boss, which is just Duke of Flies, which is super easy when you're rolling with the candle as well, because it basically nullifies this dude's shield. Uh, so he's basically dead. One more hit will do it. There we go. Now we just gotta kill the flies, which is actually largely the most annoying part of this fight, regardless. 
Give me the box or the crate. I would love that. Well, instead we get an HP upgrade, which is actually okay in its own right. Again, deals with the devil are a-okay. Uh, a brimstone, mom's knife, I think those are all on the table. But what we have to do right now is just uh, try to find another key. I mean, we could get lucky and find one in the poop, I guess. Have I ever found key in poop? It's a weird sentence to anyone who's never played The Binding of Isaac, but I think it might be possible. There's an item room down here. The item room should contain... Uh, yeah, I thought there were, was fire in here. Maybe there is a key in the fire. It really hurt your hands, but, you know, at least you know you're at a pretty low risk of your house being broken into. Got at least one room left before our other item room. And actually, we're going to have several, which is a good thing, because I want to make sure that I have the maximum chance possible to get a key. This room is going to be a decent one as well. Any room with enemies is fine by me at this point, or a slot machine would be okay as well. Chest contains a pill, which is... Tears up. Nothing to sneeze at. Oh god, stay away! Stay away! He's too fast for me! I knew that was gonna happen, but there was no way around it at that point. I guess I should have shot uh, the candle in the opposite direction. Oh, I want to kill this guy. Ah, it doesn't really matter. I was thinking that maybe I could find a way to get to the uh, secret room this way, but it doesn't appear so. Alright, this is gonna be our last ditch effort here. We got two more bombs. Maybe we find some sort of key-like structure in the secret room. Which may be here. Is indeed. Well, we find a... Oh! Alright, I gotta hurt myself again. Again, that was really silly. Bum friend, give me a key. This is my last chance, man. You're getting a lot of money out of this. Oh my god. He actually paid out with two keys. Three keys! That was incredibly unexpected. Bum friend, thank you for that. And of course we get Dead Sea Scrolls, which we can't even use, but we will uh, head down to the next floor after opening this golden chest, which could possibly contain something, even though that's Sad Onion. That's pretty awesome, actually. We're going to have a huge rate of fire now. If we could just get some damage, that would be beautiful, but ah, you know what? We should go to our shop as well. Who knows? We're going to buy a key. Book of Revelations, tempting, but our health situation is okay. And beyond that, the candle is going to save us a lot of damage, uh, taking a lot of damage in the first place. So, how did the first floor turn out? I... Certainly could have gone a lot better. Uh, we got a lot of item rooms that didn't interest us all that much, but uh, I can't complain about having basically max rate of fire, blue candle, and a little bit extra health. And of course, I learned the lesson the hard way of uh, you know hurting myself when I got the money. But in any case, we're gonna open up all this stuff because obviously we want to make sure. Oh, uh, that was bad. Uh, we're gonna get uh, the burnt penny so we can get extra bombs. I need to maximize like my bomb and key generating abilities because we've that's been our biggest problem so far. And probably will be our biggest problem uh, continuing as well, because our damage is fine now, uh, especially... I mean, our damage isn't great, but our rate of fire is great, so our DPS is okay, so to speak. Um, similarly, our health is fine for now, although that could easily change moving forwards. Uh, but beyond that, we really just want to make sure we have the tools necessary to continue going onwards here, so just don't pick up any money, and we'll all be okay. Now, oh, come on. Sometimes those green guys are so unfair. They give you, like, literally zero chance to dodge. Uh, there's another key for us. Fantastic. So we will go shop an item room on this floor. Recall that we get 25 cents every floor, which I'll have to manually go and cheat engine uh, and do every single time. So there will be a slight delay uh, when we leave this floor. But uh, this means that we're not in a bad money situation at all. Uh, getting 12 and a half cents per floor. Pretty useful. Uh, especially if we accidentally pick up more money and have to hurt ourselves. Sometimes that can actually be a good trade-off, potentially. So we're just gonna be sending a lot of uh, candles out of our little area here. So I just wanna make sure that I can't be hit. So with the crowd control basically taken care of here, I think it's time for us to take a look at the boss. I will absolutely pick up this red heart. Gotta get out of the habit of constantly picking up the items as soon as the uh, level ends, because this is what is causing me to pick up money occasionally, which is bad for business. Well, ironically, I guess it's great for business, but it's bad for this business in particular. So, Pestilence is gonna die here very quickly. Easy fight, we gotta deal with the devil. We also have a cube of meat, which we will absolutely take. Uh, and I really wanna get like the pact or something in here. Wow, that is uh, the deal. We're a little low on health to be taking that, but I still think it's worth taking. The, we got the spirit hearts for it, which is good. We got the damage upgrade, uh, which is gonna make our tiers that much more effective. And we still have a lot of good stuff potentially on this floor uh, awaiting us, so this is okay for now. I'm alright with this. We're not going to worry too much about that uh, slot machine. I'm not sure why I wanted to anger those neutral flies so much. Could get a secret room here, and again, bum friend could end up paying out with something okay. Largely, though, I would much rather just rely on judgment. There's a good idea for a challenge run. Someone should articulate that in the comments. How about a run where you have deck of cards, 
Deck of cards always drops judgment, and you get two judgments per floor instead of an item room and a boss room and a shop. Could be interesting. Judgments items tend to be a little bit better than the average, so I'm not, I think it would work out. We've got the fish head. I don't really want it, but we're going to have to get in there anyway, unless I can avoid it. Ah, I could avoid it. All right. So we ended up getting a bomb and a key there. Not a huge coup, but uh, certainly better than, I don't know, getting just a golden chest appearing out of nowhere in all likelihood. Uh, our tarot card is the hermit, so we won't even waste a key to go to the shop. The shop will contain a map, which will buy. Again, remember, we are going to get uh, 25 cents at the end of this floor. Additionally, we have our secret room where Bump Friend can get some extra money. Or I can get some money and hurt myself uh, and maybe buy that spirit heart. But that seems a little bit counterproductive, doesn't it? Well, that was terrible damage to take. We'll use a bomb here to get into the secret room. The secret room contains money for Bump Friend. Who hopefully, uh, yeah, will drop some good stuff for us. The Fool, not really that useful. The Half Red Heart, not really that useful, but I appreciate the, the sentiments regardless. So, uh, we have a Skeleton Key. Oh my god, that makes things so much better. Alright, so we're done with this floor. We used our Fool card just to go back to the spawn room. Save us a little bit of backtracking. And that'll do it for this floor. Again, how did things turn out? We're at a little bit riskier of a proposition right now, but uh, our risk reward is higher as well. Uh, so, was it for better or worse? Who knows? We, we shall see uh, in time. I'm just going to leave that room and never come back. With 99 keys, absolutely, we've improved our uh, chances of getting to all of the item rooms and shops, which is very important. Uh, I need to give myself 25 cents. I'll do that just a second here. First, open up the secret room. Don't get hit by these guys. I'm just going to pull up Cheat Engine so you can see. Add item when entering room. Start with the quarter. Thank God that was not greed. Uh, and then we'll just do this. Okay. So that's the only money we can take without hurting ourselves. Bob's Rotten Head, obviously, uh, not really that useless. Or, sorry, not really that useful for us. Actually, fairly useless. Uh, we're going to get a double chestception here. And an extra bomb. Sounds like something you'd order at, like, a shitty burger joint. Wow, that spider almost got me. Uh, so much for playing cool. Did, like, a Hank Hill style blah. It's, like, the exact opposite of playing cool. Another key, fantastic, now that I don't need it. Uh, this is uh, always an interesting room when it comes to prioritizing how you're gonna hit things. Uh, and it kinda sucks because I did take a little bit of damage that I probably shouldn't at this point. We really could use some extra health. But I wanna hold on to the candle as well. X-ray glasses basically is gonna save me one bomb per secret room. It doesn't synergize well with the map necessarily. You kinda usually want one or the other. But if we get the compass or something, uh, then I won't feel as bad about that. I mean, it's not a bad item. Anytime you get a passive, uh, I'm usually happy with it. Unless it's a truly awful passive. How did that guy phase through the rocks? That is a very good question here. That should... Yes, he is indeed dead. Uh, with so many keys, we absolutely should blow up our golden chest here. Don't take the money. Good, just red hearts. If we find an arcade, maybe we can make some good use of that. I am going to buy... It seems crazy, but I'm going to buy the 9 volt. Uh, just in case we end up getting rid of the candle at some point. Uh, then this 9 volt will help me. For example, if I end up picking up the nail or something... I don't want to, but the only reason I would do so is to basically, if I was in a condition where not picking up the nail would basically result in my death, or likely my death, regardless. Uh, we got a fortune teller here. I'm going to blow it up and save my money for the next shop, uh, which is going to give us three a key and three cents for Bum Friend, who is going to pay out with another key, which is the only thing I actually do not need right now. Give me some spirit arts. That's what we, re we really need right now, is things like the relic. Uh... Get both of these guys at the same shot. Very good. Now just back away slowly. Fantastic. Fire took care of that bum friend. He's going to give us another bomb. That's actually pretty useful at this point. We're just going to ignore the hell out of everything that hates us on this room. Greed heads, annoying as shit. But with two of them dead all at once, it doesn't feel so bad. Spectral tears would be okay as well. I would not uh, look a gift horse in the mouth with respect to spectral tears. Even though it's not great, uh, if we got like a Ouija board from Judgment or something, it would feel like limited investment, fairly decent reward. Uh, decent money here, this will all go to Bump Friend, obviously, who will give me a Troll Bomb. Thanks a lot, man. Could have ended up hurting yourself pretty hard there. Oh, I can't believe I got hit there. So we're almost out of Spirit Hearts. May very well be out of Spirit Hearts before the end of this room. No, ended up surviving a little bit longer than expected. And there are no Tinted Rocks on this room, which is annoying. Our Tinted Rocks so far, we've had many... Uh, but they haven't really benefited us all that much, sadly. Uh, this guy's in a perfect position to get destroyed by that candle. Um, yeah, they haven't really benefited us that much. We've had some that have given us a few spirit hearts, uh, but largely, you know, paying out with keys. Not even small rock. I would, I would appreciate small rock, at least. 
Kick this bomb back at him. He's got to be so close to death now. We get two extra bombs and a key that I absolutely do not need. But who knows? Maybe we come across 99 golden chests. Uh, we have one cube of meat, so a second cube of meat would be an okay upgrade at this point. But we're not going to get it. So uh, abandon all dreams, sadly, of a fourth level meat boy on this run. Which is a shame, because, you know, a girl like me needs a protector in her current state. We already basically fought this guy with the candle when we fought Duke of Flies, but uh, this is Duke of Flies 2.0, who is a little bit more difficult, because he's like the Duke of Spiders, which, quite frankly, I think is a better name for him. But we get an HP upgrade, that's nothing to sneeze at, and we'll continue onwards. Obviously, as Eve, to get like the greatest effect out of this run, I would love... Oh, so I almost picked that up. I would love to be able to roll just like pure spirit hearts, Whore of Babylon, uh, have the um, permanent invincibility from the Polaroid, obviously. It's unlikely that that's going to happen, unless I get Guppy's Paw. If I get temporarily get Guppy's Paw, I might make a go at it like that. Uh, we're going to give some money to Judgment here. Oh, come on. Well, we have a golden. We have... Oh, didn't pick up any money. Don't worry about it. Uh, what I was going to say, we have skeleton key, so it doesn't matter uh, that we got a golden chest there. In fact, it's probably a good thing that we got a golden chest there. So let's spend some money on Judgment. We're not going to be able to get any more money of our own, but that Joker could turn out being viable. Loki's Horns is another tiers upgrade, which may uh, occasionally make us shoot four tiers as well. Uh, I just want to get the F out of this room. Because I hate all of these enemies, as you can probably guess. Uh, but our secret room here is not very good. So we're just going to abandon that room and remember never to go back. That's my very sophisticated course of action for dealing with that. Now that one laser bullet fly is totally screwed, so we're not going to sweat him too much. Except if we can hit all three of them at once, like so. What does this pill do? We don't know. Health up. Range down. Actually, it doesn't hurt us that much because we have so much range to begin with. I just want to kind of explore this area first before I uh, use this Joker card. Just to make sure that if I don't have to backtrack, uh, then I'll never come back. Because I'm really worried about that skull room. Or heart room, I should say. And we got Cancer along with uh, Double Penny, which is going to make us fire so fast, as you can see. Uh, we might as well just come over here and see if we've got anything. Well, we have the boss room. Maybe we should fight the boss before we get anything else done. Just to maximize, again, our chances of... Well, if, uh, the reason we should fight the boss before using the Joker card is because we might just get a deal with the Angel. Oh, God. Uh, or the Devil without having to use our card. And we could use this card on a later floor when we don't get a deal with the Angel or the Devil. But we want one. If that makes any sense at all. Uh, in here we get Samson's Lock, which is going to be better than Burnt Penny, I think, even though we're a little low on bombs. So let's just make sure we got this right. Cancer Burnt Penny, no. Cancer Samson's Lock, yes. Okay, so this is going to give us Rage. Who are we fighting here? Uh, Mask of Infamy, the perfect asshole at this point in the game. But shouldn't, oh man, shouldn't be too bad because I think, stop taking such stupid damage. I think the fire will do... Uh, damage to him through his mask and we've got enough speed to get around him I think problem is we're not doing a ton of damage with our tears we're firing you know 30,000 of them but you know if we fight a uh, blue baby and Isaac assuming we get that far which is definitely a leap of faith at this point uh, we should be able to do very well against them if we just only use the candle it might be impossible for them to hit us in fact so blue, or, uh, Dead Bird is doing a lot of work here too, but Blue Candle's probably doing the majority of the damage. And I think this fight is actually going to turn out surprisingly easy. Thank God we got this item a little earlier. Coin Purse has the potential to be amazing or terrible. Tears up. That's good. We're going to, again, continue our incredible rate of fire streak. Uh, question marks? Luck up. That's fine. And Range Down, which we're just going to abandon in favor of the Joker. Which we're going to take right now. And that's going to give us uh, a whole lot of items that I actually don't want to use. I would love to pick up the mark, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it would be irresponsible right now. We'd be left with a single heart, which would be terrible for us. Just don't get hit like a dummy here. Oh my god. Surprisingly difficult room to deal with. There we go. He's dead. No more shots, please. Thank you. Oh, I picked up some money. I have to hurt myself. I'll find some fire. Don't you worry. First things first. I'm actually just going to come in here. Hurt myself. Thank you. And then go pick up some health. And then get the hell out of here. Alright, so I'm just using that room basically as a, a health depository or repository. I can't even remember. What's the difference between a depository and a repository? Is a repository where you go to pick things up? You're like repositing it? I have no idea. Uh, so picking up that money actually might have been a blessing in disguise. I just want to kill this fly in case there's a drop. I don't think there is though. So we'll just leave. Oh, that is bad. Uh, but luckily we have some red hearts available for us. It's going interestingly. I would really love to have more health by this point. 
today's runs, I recorded the last run today. Uh, like, the last run that went up. Uh, I recorded that today as well. Uh, they've been a little low on health, which is stressful, of course. And now Bumfriend is only dropping keys. But we have Compass Map. That's big. Oh, I can't buy the compass because I spent money on the last floor. Oh, that's really unfortunate, actually. I would much prefer the compass to whatever I bought with my money on the last floor. And Telepathy for Dummies, which is garbage. So I think it is time for us to just head down to the next floor. We will be able to get a quarter. Not really all that useful, though. Because we've already lost probably the best possible item. And actually, after this floor, like then after the next floor, the quarter isn't going to be that valuable because we're just going to end up uh, running into no shops anyway. So, I think it's time. Just go in here. Add item when entering next room. Give me the quarter. Hopefully, we'll be able to make some good use of this. Uh, just let me turn off cheat engine again so I don't accidentally give myself 50 cents. Could go to the deal with the devil. It's so tempting to pick up... Uh, the mark, don't get me wrong, but I think it's a bad idea. So, let's head down to the next floor. I got Cheat Engine and my mouse pointer off the screen, and it is time for the Depths Part 2. Our final item room and our final uh, shop. Basically, our final hope for a smooth sale here. Shop contains greed. That was eh, to be expected, basically. Uh, I'm only killing him. Normally, I would just leave, but I'm killing him so Bum Friend can get some items here. Possibly drop some Spirit Hearts, or... Maybe a, a bomb as well. Either of those would be really useful. Uh, matchstick, kind of garbage. Isaac's head, not good enough to take with me. Safety cap, thanks for the trinkets, but I actually don't need them. Our secret room contains more money, which will again go to bum friend. Who's going to give us crow's foot? Big on the trinkets on this floor, apparently. There's our boss room. Kind of want to go right now, but obviously we can't. Without uh, forsaking our last item room. Item rooms have been garbage for us so far. But it would still be kind of a slap in the face to the game. Oh. Picked up a scent by accident. I'll hurt myself, don't worry. Just hit me, please. Thank you. Alright. Let's play it cool. For some reason, as I play this run and I use the candle more, I think that this is a run that is like, no tears allowed. It's not, but it feels like it is, because the candle is so good. I was watching uh, Edmund McMillan's wife actually has a stream, and, and at one point she was like, complaining about how she doesn't like the candle. I was like, are you serious? It's one of the greatest space bar items of all time! Okay, thank you for that spirit heart. Uh, the item room... I really thought the... I guess it's the stars takes us to the item room. I will never remember that. I have to relearn it every single time. Well, I don't have to. I choose to, maybe. I could drill myself on it. But I already drilled myself twice today, so I'm a little bit tired. I uh, can't believe I took damage there, but at least we got a little red health back. Demon Judgment, very tempting. Don't get me wrong, but uh, probably out of our price range right now with respect to health. How's the mom fight gonna go? You raise a good point. I'm not sure. Uh, that was really bad of me. Drop some spirit hearts, bump friend. Nope. Uh, I think, well, the devil card is gonna make it easier. I think it's gonna go okay. Uh, but, you know, anything could happen and has happened in these runs in the past. I'm taking some stupid damage as my confidence gets a little bit lower here. Uh, we'll see what we've got in this treasure chest. It's a pill. The pill is... Bad trip. Fantastic. Exactly what I needed right now. Maybe we won't even make it to mom. Wishful thinking, right? <laughs> Not really. Um, so what trinket are we going to keep with us? Both Samson's Lock and Cancer are pretty good. I think I'm going to take Cancer with us. Uh, because it is probably more beneficial. Also, the other reason I'm doing exploration right now is because we could find the second room, second secret room I should say, who knows, maybe the second secret room would actually have uh, an eternal heart or something. Bum friend, please come down here and pick up this scent and you will give me, wow we didn't even find the item room the first time uh, so sadly we have a little bit more backtracking to do and another room to go through, unfortunately we're going to end up exploring this entire floor despite discovering the boss room right away, who knows maybe we'll pick up a compass or something, demon judgment not interested very unlikely that we'll discover that compass, by the way. I was just spitballing right there. Talking about things that will never happen, but uh, would be nice if they did indeed happen. Sadly, this treasure chest contains money, so I am going to have to hurt myself. Uh, hopefully there will be some fire or something, otherwise I'll just walk into an enemy. Although I prefer to walk into the fire, because then it doesn't compromise my position. If that makes sense. I should have just gotten hit by one of the turrets. Bum friend, why would you do that? Um, more money. I didn't pick that up. Bum friend picked it up, I think. In any case, I've got to hurt myself regardless, so we'll open the golden chest. More money that I accidentally picked up. I'm only going to hurt myself once for that. If you think I'm going to hurt myself twice, you're crazy. Uh, and our item room is Book of Sin. Please give us some health. It gave us a tarot card, which gave us the Fool, which is worthless. Uh, so instead, we'll take the Devil card. You know what? I'll hurt myself twice. I'll, I'll be an honorable guy. 
Then I'll put out the fire in the hopes of getting some hearts. And we're ready to go. Wow, this prostitute's run is not turning out all that great. Mind you, we only have to beat Satan. Beating Satan with three hearts on the candle is not out of the question. It's kind of unlikely, uh, but it, it certainly it wouldn't be the strangest thing that's ever happened. This is our shortcut to the boss room. First things first, we gotta beat Mom, only being able to hit three times. Only being able to be hit three times, I should say. Uh, and it's Blue Mom, which is uh, the most annoying version of Mom. But we do have the Devil card, so we're gonna be creating uh, some pretty high damage shots here. Which is good, Mom's already half dead, actually. Anyone hearing what I'm saying right now is probably very confused, and possibly a little bit appalled as well. Uh, but, we're almost done with this. Wow, that actually went surprisingly well. This is a tricky situation. We wanna take uh, the Cancer Trinket with us. We want the health, we want the Spirit Heart, we wanna get the crate or the box, but we don't wanna pick up the money associated with it. Thank you, bum friend. Saved my life there. Uh, now, do we wanna take Red Patch? Range down, really? Uh, instead of Cancer? No, no we don't. Instead we wanna take the High Priestess card down to the next floor. I do have the Polaroid. Wait, why did I even take the Polaroid? I didn't need to take the Polaroid. I could've stuck with what I had. Because we're just going to fight Satan. Force of habit, I don't know, it's pretty strong. Anyway, we're on the Womb XL. It's good news, believe it or not. Uh, because being on the Womb XL means to us, or means to me at least, uh, that this could be shorter. We have a map, we sort of know where to go. Where you going, sis? Will this work? Oh, come on. Yeah, we sort of know where to go. We, we know where not to go, to a higher extent, I guess. Star's card is largely worthless. Um... Don't really want to fight Super Greed. Sorry, buddy. So we're just going to leave. I, I'm not going to give myself any more uh, quarters because it's totally unnecessary at this point. And we're getting fairly lucky with our... Come on, bum friend. Don't fuck with me like that. Uh, we're getting fairly lucky with our room uh, conditions so far. Like, we haven't encountered too many difficult enemies. Tarot card is the world. Wow. We're going to pop that right now. That's going to allow us to find our boss room much, much more easily. And we might have a chance now, because, I mean, after this, we go down to Shoal. That's the reason I use the world card so quickly, is because, you know, Shoal is going to be much smaller and probably a little bit easier than having to deal with, uh, you can pick that up, bump friend, please, uh, than having to deal with Womb XL. We'll get some spirit hearts here, very beneficial. We probably only need, depending on the boss we fight here, we probably only need, like, six or seven health total to succeed on this run if I have a decent fight against, uh... Satan, which is, you know, something that's very much up in the air, but the more spirit arts drop, the better uh, I feel about our chances, that's for damn sure. Just get them all lined up here, knock them down. Oh, ki ah! I can't believe I still took damage there. I thought I had the perfect situation lined up. Uh, tarot card is the chariot, which we will just probably use on the next room. Yeah, why not? Make this room a little bit faster. Obviously, we want to hang on to our high priestess card. I'd ideally, like, don't say thank you, bump friend. I'd ideally like to use our High Priestess card on Satan, but I might end up using it on whatever our Womb Part 1 boss is, if it's a difficult boss, because we're certainly, we're not out of the woods yet with respect to, you know, basically any metric, except keys. We're probably okay for keys for the rest of the game. Get a candle, oh, bum friend, that belongs to you. Please pick it up so I don't accidentally pick it up while I try to dodge these guys. Oh, come on. Seriously? There we go. All right, bum friend. That's all yours, my friend. And in return, we get the safety cap or liberty cap. Sorry, which gives us random mushroom effect every room. Might be more beneficial than the Polaroid, but I still kind of think the Polaroid is worth having in this situation. For the invincibility it could give us when we get down to like half of a red heart. It's probably going to be better than the liberty cap. I think, anyway. That extra health is very important. We'll just continue going downwards. How did I take damage there? Uh, don't pick up that money by accident. That would cause you to take even more damage. We are getting fairly close to gaining retribution against our pimp, but I don't know, man. The longer I play, the more unlikely it feels. Bum friend, please drop some red hearts. Save my life. That guy took forever to die. Well, he's going to pick up seven cents here. Maybe. Just don't give me a key. That's all I ask. Red hearts would be fine. He gave me a key. What a cheeky motherfucker. All right. Troll Engine's been effing with us today. This is a High Priestess-worthy room for sure. Ah, and I already took a bunch of damage, and... Did the Bloat take a... Oh, the Bloat's almost dead. Okay. Just be cool about it. Drop a fire in there. Oh my god, I walked on the creep by accident. If I hadn't done that, I think Bloat would have died. I probably would have died right after on Mom's Heart. But in any case, again, thank you to, uh, Carrie and Spirit for that challenge run suggestion. 
I didn't play spectacularly, but man, we got kind of shafted with the items for like the third run in a row. But in any case, as always, thank you guys for watching. Continue suggesting your challenge runs. I will do the ones I deem most entertaining, appropriate, or visible. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.